If I had a crossbow, I would probably give it a try. Uh, I will probably not buy a crossbow in order to do that. Right. I mean, I, I have my duck hunting, pheasant hunting, deer hunting, elk hunting, so kind of my plate is full. But yep. would I do it if, if I if I had a bow? Yes, I'd look for an opportunity to do it. I'm 76 years old. I do have a bow, which I've shot a few times. And the last time I pulled it back, I noticed I have a, a little tear in my shoulder and it bothers it. So I cannot pull back a conventional bow anymore. This is only like a 40 pound pull. And yeah. next day my shoulder was just aching. So for me, it would be either a crossbow or nothing. Right. And right now? Right now it would be nothing doing. because right. I mean, I have enough other things I do. Perfect. Now that crossbows are legal in Minnesota, is that something you'd consider taking up for deer or turkey? Or uh, what's your thoughts about being able to do that now? My thoughts is that I already have a compound bow. I haven't used that yet. I would love to get a crossbow and use it, but I need to work on my compound bow right now and then graduate to that. Although it's the same as using a gun now when you have the crossbow. Right. Um, I, I think it could be a good sport, um, especially with the turkey hunting. You know, I think it um, gives everybody the opportunity to be able to get out in the out into the um, outdoors and give more opportunity for yeah. everybody to do it. Have you ever uh, done any crossbow stuff? Nope, never no? have. Okay. Nope. Well, I think that with crossbow hunting, it's kind of almost like a lifestyle that you have to uh, be exposed to it early, and that uh, maybe some people that you know also crossbow hunt, and that you have a group that helps you uh, become proficient in it, but I don't think it's something that you can just really just pick up at the drop of a hat and become a crossbow hunter. But I think that if you were younger, and I think that young guys coming of age now, I think it'll become more and more popular. And I could see in five years or 10 years, a lot more people doing it and pretty rewarding, especially the sportsmen that, you know, they, they want to take that extra effort to get the deer instead okay. of just blowing them away. Right. So I think that there's legs in the future. It's just going to start now. But not for you, you're thinking right now. I'm a little old. I'm 64 <laughs> years old. But if I were 44 years old, I think I would be more apt to take it up in the future. And I think it, it's going to be rewarding for whoever takes it up because I've talked to crossbow hunters and they love it. Yeah. And uh, that's what I think. Okay, appreciate it. I started last year for the first time crossbow with hunting. crossbow. Okay. I've had both my rotator cuffs repaired. I can't draw my bow back anymore. People, my friends say, reduce the poundage, you know. So that's not it. It's it, That's part of it. It's more to it than that. It's, it's a physical thing. I'm, gonna, I'm 68 years old. Um, I could have a crossbow anyway, even without this law change. Yeah. Because I'm over, I think it's 60. Is the, okay. Somebody gave me a crossbow two years ago. They were 80 years old and said, I'm giving it up. I, I, I hunted once with it last year and I didn't have a shot. Okay. This year I'm hoping to hunt more. But I like both arch with any kind of archery, it's going out in October yeah. after the frost. The bugs are down, the leaves are off. Middle of October, the, the bucks are becoming stupid again. Yep. And just before the fire, end of October, it is a beautiful weather. I just love sitting out there in the dark, waking up. Same with the gun. You hear the ducks if they're near nearby. I see a fox running around under my stand. I mean, it's so cool to just sit there, not even hunt. Exactly. But you're out in nature, and you hear the woods wake up. I love oh yeah, it's the best. hearing the woods wake up in the morning. Yep. Thank you.